Harvesting deer based on age is becoming an increasingly common and fun management strategy. To implement this practice, hunters must have the ability to accurately age bucks on the hoof based on their body characteristics, an ability that most hunters considered impossible a decade ago. Today, however, hunters across the whitetails range are estimating the age of bucks in the field as a means to enhance their hunting experiences or merely for the fun of it. Like humans, whitetails possess distinct body characteristics by age class, and with a little practice, you can become proficient at estimating the age of bucks on the hoof. The breeding season is the best time of year to age bucks because of pronounced neck swelling and tarsal staining. You can estimate their age at other times of the year, but many characteristics are viewed relative to what they will or did look like during the rut. Fawns. Fawns are easily distinguished from other age classes of bucks, but are commonly misidentified as does. Fawns have small, square bodies, small, short heads, and relatively large ears. Does have rectangular bodies and larger heads. Buck fawns' heads are flatter between the ears rather than rounded like that of an adult doe or doe fawn. And fawns also have short necks, flatter bellies and backs, and less muscle definition than adult does. With a little practice, all hunters can quickly learn to separate bucks into three main age classes. Young bucks, those that are one and a half to two and a half years old, middle-aged bucks, those that are three and a half to four and a half years old, and mature bucks, those that are five and a half plus years old. So, one and a half years. For most hunters, learning to identify yearling bucks is the most important aging skill. Yearling bucks have long legs, a thin neck, a slim body, and an overall lanky appearance. Their legs appear too long for their bodies and their antler spread is nearly always less than the width of their ears when their ears are in an alert position. They have a thin waist and they may have slight tarsal staining in their tarsal glands during the rut. Overall, a yearling buck looks like a doe with antlers. Two and a half years, Two and a half year olds have legs that still appear too long for their bodies and they still have an overall sleek appearance. They have developed some muscling in their shoulders and slight swelling in their neck during the rut, but their waist is still thin. Given adequate nutrition, their antler spread can be equal to or wider than their ears. And finally, they can have moderate staining in their tarsal glands during the rut, especially if few mature bucks are in the population. Three and a half years. Three-year-olds have legs that appear to be the right length for their bodies because their torsos are now more fully developed. They have muscled shoulders and highly swelled neck during the rut, but their waist is still lean. And I liken three-year-olds to middle linebackers as they are big and strong, but they're also lean and fast. A deep chest and lean waist give them this racehorse appearance. Their antler spread can be even with or wider than their ears. And research shows that at this age, most bucks have achieved 50 to 75% of their antler growth potential. They also have a lot of tarsal standing during the rut. Four and a half years. Because their stomachs, chests, and necks are now fully developed, most four-year-olds have legs that appear too short for their body. They have fully muscled shoulders, heavy swelling in the neck during the rut, and their waist has now dropped down to become even with their chest. Given adequate nutrition, they'll become structurally mature and can reach 75 to 90% of their antler growth potential. They also have a lot of tarsal staining and during the rut, the stain may extend below the tarsal gland. Four-year-olds have an entirely different appearance than one to three-year-old bucks. Five and a half to seven and a half years. Other than in select places, few free-ranging bucks exceed five years of age, so I'm gonna combine five to seven-year-olds. Bucks in this category have legs that appear too short for their body. They also have several other characteristics of four-year-olds, including fully muscled shoulders, heavy swelling in their necks during the rut, and a waist that's even with their chest. However, they also may have a pot belly and a sagging back. Their increased body mass gives them a more rounded appearance, and they may even look like a small cow. They will have achieved 90 to 100% of their antler growth potential, and they can have highly stained tarsal glands during the rut, with the stain extending well below the tarsal gland. Eight and a half and older. A few free-ranging bucks make it to this advanced age category. These bucks have passed their prime and they regress in both body and antler size. They generally will have loose skin on their face, their neck and their shoulders, and usually visible as a chin flap. And they may have pointed shoulders and hip bones. 
Their antlers can show age-related abnormalities such as abnormal points or wavy or curly tines, and they have an overall weathered appearance. As you study these age-specific body characteristics, you'll notice there aren't age-specific antler characteristics. Therefore, I suggest you don't rely solely on antler size when aging bucks. Large antlers on a younger deer or small antlers on an older deer can negatively influence your age estimate. I prefer to estimate age based solely on body characteristics with respect to location and time of year and then use antler size to check my estimate or to break a tie if I can't decide between two classes. Aging bucks on the hoof is a lot of fun, so whether you hunt them with a bow, a sporting arm, or a camera, this information can make you a more knowledgeable whitetail enthusiast. For more information on aging live deer, visit the National Deer Association's website at DeerAssociation.com. To learn more, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, or head over to www.deerassociation.com. This video is part of the official NDA Deer Hunting 101 online course with Today's Hunter. For the full course, go to www.todayshunter.com forward slash deer 101. This Deer 101 digital series has been a Bearded Buck production.